And we use the Ring of Talador to go into the Castle Undercroft, or whatever the hell it's called. And every area underground has the sound of a protocolus opening, or chains being drawn by a mechanism. It's nice to know that a, a ring can open all these doors. Presumably because it's magic. I think stars are the motif here. Hello, hello, is this? A Templar Knight. You look suspiciously like those... You're exact, you're the exact model, those floating elf guys that shoot the magic missiles and have the two-headed sword. You guys suck with this. The dude that's nearly giving me the finger. And another Templar Knight. Are you guys gonna become hostile at some point? Better not. What are these? Their hands. Okay. Pick this one. No. This one? Okay. What's that? Okay, since the background is really, really loud, um, I'm uh, gonna read this out because otherwise you'll hear like. As um, he's speaking. If it turns out that it's not too loud, then I'll use his dialogue rather than mine. I have prepared this message in the event that I, Goldrum of the Meadows, have failed in my attempt to prevent a malicious enemy within the circle of mages from unwittingly unleashing the forces of hell upon the earth. Listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you, for the fate of all now rests upon your strength of your noble arm, and the courage inside your noble heart. Thank you, Goldrum's visage and body. Kind of visage, it's like the entirety of him. With a big, big beard that looks horrifically ugly from this angle. Okay, it's time to point something out. Why the hell are there so many creepy noises in here? Like, <laughs> like all these creepy whispery sounds that do not sound in the slightest bit benevolent. And you're supposed to be a benevolent wizard, and all this horrible shit is happening. I, I, I really want to know what well, horrible noises are happening. I want to know, what are you doing? Like, that noise right there, what is it for? Why is it here? You're not going to have any answers for me because you're a pre-recorded message, aren't you? Hmm. Anyway, in the ancient times of the last age, the greatest wizards of the realm united to forge the divine relics of power. And from this union was born the Circle of Mages. Their solemn vow was to protect the world from evil. MacGuffin Artifacts! Can one of them be like a sofa? Oh man, I would not like to carry that around. For many years, I have safeguarded the relics of power, all by myself, all alone, in this little room. For it is their divine power that has for many ages protected the world from sinister forces that seek to transform all that is good into nightmare and destruction. For so long as the relics of power exist, our world remains safe. For so long as I have taken my oath, I have ensured the relics remain secure. Are we going to find the soul cube too? I mean, I guess I know why uh, the Barogrim soldiers have red eyes, because they're probably interacting with DEMONS and monsters. But evil schemes without relent, and thus the circle of mages has always been afflicted by the parasites of darkness. And though nefarious motives are often transparent, from time to time, action is required. Such a time has now arrived. I have learned that one such pretender within our ranks has tapped into demonic force of, pfft, of power far beyond his own comprehension, and his malevolent dabblings have instigated events now rapidly escalating into a catastrophe for us all. Alas, my, recit my recitation of this message to you can only mean that something has gone wrong in my plans to thwart him. Do you, like, leave this super long message every time you go out for, like, cupcakes? You leave, like, a two-hour message to anyone who will find your house or one of these random objects like your car keys so everyone knows exactly what happened? How do you get anything done? 
Only one of the sign, one ennobled to the stars by birth, may invoke the true power of these divine relics. And thus I am secure that my words are now revealed to one of such heritage. To you. Therefore I must bequeath the following legacy. To bind you to the following charge. Well, what if the man ordained by the stars did- Or woman ordained by the stars- didn't make it here. To fruition. Beware the wizard called Volgar. Oh, it's him again! Everybody's mentioning this man, so he must be hideously evil. And probably the end boss. Or the second end boss. For he is of reckless ability, vile of spirit, and selfish of mind. He leads a pack of malefic vermin now infesting the circle of mages. Though his motives are plainly visible, his actions are nonetheless dangerous, and must not be allowed to reach fruition. Duh. I, I, I'm kind of questioning, why didn't you have more people to help you? You went off and did something yourself and died. Maybe your acolyte Emendor could have helped you not die. And again, he does kind of suck. Hmm. In his dark conjurations, Volgar chanced upon contact with a diabolic entity, not of this world. Oh, so he saw Cthulhu! And has agreed to deliver the relics of power in a pact to gain fiendish power. Power of power. Thank you. It is only a matter of time before Volgar is able to scry the secret location of the relics. You must retrieve the relics of power and bring them here before Volgar can find them. Inside this magical pentagram, as one born of the sign, each relic will imbue you with a boon of magical power. How does that work? Eh. I'm kind of curious at this one. There are five relics of power. Only when you have brought... <laughs> There are five relics of power, the one you have brought here and the four others still concealed. Only when the pentagram is complete with all five relics will their true power be fully bestowed upon you. Only then will you be transformed into one capable of defeating Volgar. Captain Planet! And why are you using a pentagram? Aren't those supposed to be signs of evil? At least they tend to be. They use the generic Latin script to make them seem even more hideously evil. And did you leave a message this long on each and every single one of your artifacts? Because holy jeez. Those things must have like a 3 gig thumb drive in them. Okay, things are just steadily going more and more crazy here. I, pfft, I, how much more are you going to talk? I mean, holy balls. Of the four remaining relics, all but one have I hidden within the heart of evil. For there will evil stay, drawn to their power like moths to the flame. And though evil may not invoke the power of the relics directly, because he said it like directly for some reason, evil may still be affected by them and will not surrender them easily to you. For these in are instruments that they both fear and worship. An instrument of good worshipped by evil. I guess it kind of works. It's kind of like a magnet for evil bastards. You can just throw it far away from where you're living so the evil bastards stay over there. Good plan, actually. Oh boy, here comes our world traveling experience. You will find one of the relics hidden deep within the ancient ruins beyond the battlefields of the dead. Another of the relics rests in the murky waters of a fallen dungeon. Beneath a temple in the Sagathian Moors. Yet another of the relics I have concealed within the fires of an evil sanctuary within the Veil of Ruin. Probably also the ultimate stage of the game. The fifth relic you will find in the possession of a female youth, the sole heir of Davenmore of Fargrove. This is the relic you should obtain first, before any of the others, for its power is one of great protection. It can protect you as it has protected her and will help you survive the dangers you must face on your quest to recover the remaining relics. Go now, and make haste to Fargrove, and take audience with the young girl of Davenmore. Whisper to her the words, it is the day of days. And upon hearing this, she will relinquish the relic to you. Only these words will release the relic from her possession. 
and otherwise it cannot be taken. And then she will no longer be protected and probably killed. Hmm, I see some problems here. Oh well, we're the good guy. As you obtain each relic, oh lord, he's repeating himself. Return here and place it within the magic pentacle I have prepared. The additional power you gain from each relic will help you to brave the perils still to come. Remember, all five relics must be gathered within the magic pentagram before their full powers will be imparted to you. Go now to Fargrove and obtain the relic of power from the daughter of Davenmore, and then return it here. I can't, you're still talking to me! And be wary, for wherever you find the relics of power, evil will be near. Oh boy! Oh boy! In collecting the MacGuffin, I attack. I pfft, attract the attention of evil. That makes sense, I suppose. What did I get? Did I get anything interesting? I have no clue. Hmm. Well, I can no longer do anything with that, even though it's sparkly. And we've lost our trinket. Good thing I still have this with me. Because it does take it from you. Son of a butt muncher. Hmm. So, we probably need to go find Miss Lady Davenmore person. I already forgot her name. And in doing so, I think we have to go to the Boleyn Fields, or the Bolin Fields, or whatever the hell it's pronounced, and talk to people there because... Reason? It's the only place that we haven't been that we can go. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to wander between Arendelle and somewhere else and do lots of sifting and blah 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 blah. Oh, he wants me to return to Emmendor. Let's actually go back to Emmendor and talk to him and see if anything interesting happens. Time to dial up Arendelle. What's its number? Okay. I'm gonna send you a text. It's me! Man, what would the data rates be for that? Sending an entire person over in a text. Womp! Probably break your phone. Now we must see Mr. Magical Emidor. Hello, Elderon. You're useless. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I have more important business than you. Can, can I go up? Hello? Elevator, go up. Elevator go up. Uh oh. Elevator's broken. Ele elevator's broken. Ah, elevator works now. I had to talk to the person of personness. As he psychically activates the stupid elevator. Why do you waste a grand total of space within your tower for this elevator shaft? I mean, really, you could manage things so much better. I am relieved that you have returned safely. Your absence has caused me great concern. Ah, I sense you have noticed the scars upon my brow. A permanent reminder of Volgar's assault. I now know that it was the incredible power within the relic, Goldrin's Horn, which affected my protection surrounding this tower, and enabled Volgar to invade with such a vicious attack. I can only hope that when you torched him with the horn, he was likewise treated to a torrent of equal discomfort. Now tell me of your journey to Talandor. What did Galdrin's horn reveal? So he basically uglied you with nether blasts that aren't that dangerous to begin with? I mean, he hit me with a few and it didn't make me extra ugly with red eyes of doom. Mm. Maybe he gave you the pink eye spell. It's very closely related to the poop spell. Let's give him in the entirety of Emondor's very long message. Ah, as I thought, my friend Goldrin anticipated what events might befall him, and left a trail for us to follow. However, I fear his message is very disturbing. 
If Galdrin was no match for Volgar, I dare to think what perils lie before you. Cthulhu. You, I say again. For it is you who must undertake Galdrin's quest. Only you can invoke the power. Only of me? Medics. And though I would gladly embark upon this mission at your side, as you can see, my vision was not unaffected by Volgar's bite. <laughs> I would be useless to you in this journey, and could only bring you misfortune. Nonetheless, because you're useless, I will beforehand. help you in any way that I can. You're a plot hinderer. Why can't you sell me some nice stuff? How about I do that? not know the nature of what evil may guard the remaining relics, but from Goldrin's message, I can tell you something of where they are hidden. All except for Elowin. The daughter of Davenmore. I have been unable to conjure any spell that would reveal her location, which is very troubling. Very However, troubling indeed. Galdrin left us a clue when he mentioned that the relic she carries is an artifact of great protection. I can only surmise that the power of this relic it's is a magic strong enough to shield her from my magic. However, Galdrin was clear that you should acquire this relic before undertaking to retrieve the others. Therefore, I believe finding the girl is of paramount importance. You know, you're slowing the hero down by all this exposition. You could say this so much more concisely. The time that you take telling me everything about this is probably time that something bad could happen. Which it inevitably will. And it'll be your fault, not mine. You don't need to be this cryptic. As for the other relics... Galdrin mentioned three locations, and all lie east of Fargrove, in the foreboding wilderness lands of the Demigoth. That place wasn't as dangerous as you make it out to be. In the last age, a fierce battle took place upon a long, narrow plain, which oh, stretched been there. through a mountainous corridor winding off of Lake Dread. The corridor was lined with the last defenders of a ruthless warlord, who commanded his sorcerers invoke spells of diabolical wards to bolster their ranks. It was up this corridor that the noble legions marched to oppose them, and though their numbers were greater by twenty-fold, the noble legions were slaughtered. Ooh, the noble legions of who? And of who is the warlord? I guess we'll After figure that out. holy massacre, this treacherous corridor of plain came to be known as the battlefields of the dead. For it is said, that whenever noble legions try to pass through this corridor, the last warriors of the evil warlord will rise again to defend him, though their master has been long departed. It is beyond the battlefields of the dead that you will find the fallen ruins of an ancient reliquary, once the sanctuary of an order of mystic knights that died out long ago. But I am not a noble legion. I'm just a noble person. So wouldn't I fall underneath the radar? Instead of causing hideous legions of people to attack me, like last time. It's okay, I have the crystal of, like, destruction stuff. And that destruction stuff is pretty good. Far to the south and west of the Demigoth Enclave of Skuldun, in an area they call the Forbidden Lands, are the Sagathian Moors. Deep in the Moors, there once stood the primeval castle of an evil priest. Though the castle was destroyed during the Holy Wars of the Last Age, it has since been rebuilt and is now a demigoth temple. This is the domain of the Naga, perhaps the strangest of all demigoth tribes. Serpent people. And certainly the least human. For it is said they are depraved and without conscience and enjoy feasting upon the flesh of men. From what you have recounted of Galdrin's description, I believe the relic may be buried somewhere under the temple Perhaps in a collapsed part of the original castle. Oh no, it can't be made easy. It, it, no, nothing can. And I love how you're super descriptive about, like, say, Volgar and some other stuff that I've probably forgotten about that doesn't come to mind. But when it comes to, like, the noble legions of such and such or the evil warlord of doom, there's, there's nothing about them. You only focus on, like, one or two things. The rest could be interesting. The remaining relic will prove most difficult to reach, for the Veil of Ruin lies in a black canyon, isolated deep within the Mountains of Despair, and the only way to travel there is by means of magic. Its wilds are inhabited by the foulest of creatures, 
guardians of an unholy sanctuary lorded by the druids. Beware, for the druids are diabolic in nature, evil mystics who engage in profane rituals of demonic conjurations. From the reference in Goldrin's message, I sense a warning that you may have to endure a challenge of fire to acquire the relic. Why? Why would druids be worshipping demons? Well, but, it, it, hold the phone! I mean, what? Druids are supposed to be like forest people that work with the capricious fae or something. At least that's what I thought. But no, apparently druids are demon worshippers. Okay. Galdrin certainly chose well by his intent to secure the relics of power in the most desolate and fiendish of places. This will be a journey fraught with unimaginable dangers, and I feel certain that finding the daughter of Davenmore and acquiring the relic of protection before you embark upon these other perils is of utmost necessity. I will devote the totality of my energies to finding the Lady Elowen as well, and perhaps together we may uncover her whereabouts. Oh yeah, I certainly chose well. He just hucked them where he damn well pleased because evil would congregate towards the relics. He even said that. He probably didn't even choose at all. I mean, let's face it. He probably picked places where people don't want to live. I mean, I'm surprised he didn't throw it into a volcano at that point. And you're saying that you're going to help me find Lady Elowen when you weren't even willing to, like, squire outside your tower because Volgar would find you and he might slap you with pink eye. Oh, wait, he already did. Mm. So now you're probably going to hide in your tower and do nothing. And I'm going to have to do everything and wander around like a dumbass because I have no direction. Oh, wait, I usually do that. That's fine. I have told you all I am able. Though I remain ever ready to assist you in whatever way that I can. However, there is another I believe may serve you further. She is called Staroxia. What? She was at one time a Celestine. It's the like most a bad gifted guy. seer within the Celestial Order. From like a bad anime. However, she abandoned the Celestial Order many years ago, and later confided to me that her discoveries were leading her far beyond their ordained realms. Oh, she's learning dork magic! I just think I just said dork magic. Yeah, let's go with that. Dork magic. I love that. Since then, she has lived secluded in her tower, perched high atop a peak within the Forbidden Lands. By night, she gazes at the stars, and by day, she charts their meaning. She will know the Forbidden Lands, and can tell you more about these domains of evil where Galdrin has hidden the relics of power. We presume she will be expecting you, of course. And be sure to tell her Emendor sends his warmest regards as well. Just the same. Warmest regards, just the same. He didn't finish his sentence. Pfft, arr, arr. And, oh, you know exactly what she's doing. So maybe you are scrying, but you just don't want to devote your time to anything else because you're staring at, presumably... A spellcaster lady, and if she's anything like any chicken dungeon lords who has even like an ounce of power, she has probably huge cans. So you're probably just like, what? You're a pervert. My previous suspicion about you is true, but I have gained more honor. Presumably, I think I got eight more. Travel well, my friend. Anywho. Thank you for hindering the plot, especially with your stupid elevator. You see that thing? That thing wouldn't work unless your friend pushes a button or something. Why can't you make it more usable? Hopefully this thing... Okay, it works going down. You suck! I don't like him. I like how this elevator is perfectly silent now. I guess he worked out all the kinks. Although I think it's slower than before. Seriously, look at all this wasted space. I mean, couldn't you use that for, uh, I don't know, a better purpose? I mean, oh yes, I have my wizard's cow, cower, tower and my six cabinets. Yes, I live in luxury. Hello, I'm gonna talk to you like this still because I have the worst voice actor ever. No, wait, the worst voice actor ever was in a different game. 